Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Thomas and welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me here again on another video in my series on interview questions and tips and tricks. And today's topic is going to be a real quick one, but I think it's an important one. And it's really more of a general tip for anyone interviewing, not just UI UXers. And that is make sure you avoid those annoying things in interviews that the interviewer can't stand. And of course, I mean by things that the interviewer can't stand. It's things like saying, um, or, you know, or right. You don't want to have those periods of lull where it sounds like you don't know what you're talking about and you're not a good communicator. And I've already mentioned this on a few other videos in this series, but it's super important, especially as UXers, that we're able to articulate and we're able to communicate our ideas and present those ideas to others. So if there's a lot of pausing and there's a lot of ums and ahs and, you know, and just dead space space that really doesn't make us look like a good communicator. Some of the other things to be aware of, aside from just the speaking part of it, is also make sure that you're not doing weird things with your body. So you're not itching your head or you're not itching your eye or messing with your glasses or fiddling with your hair. Make sure that you're not sitting there wrenching your hands and looking like you're about ready to blow. All of those things are important when you're trying to communicate yourself effectively and you're trying to look like you know what you're doing. So of course this is easier said than done and I have a very personal understanding of this. I myself have struggled most of my career with a lot of heavy introversion. A lot of us creatives tend to be on the introverted side, and this is hard for us in general just to speak in public or talk with others. But it's especially hard in an interview when there's stuff on the line and you really want to nail this interview and you really want to get the job. So you just really need to do your best to make a mental checklist of this stuff and keep track of it as you're in the interview. Just try to avoid it the best you can. So real short and sweet video for you here today, but a super important topic and honestly something that can make or break an interview. Try to avoid these repetitions things as much as you can. Try to keep the conversation flowing smoothly. And again, just make that mental checklist in your mind and try to avoid some of this stuff as you're going through the interview. Thanks for joining me here on another video in this interview question series. Hopefully you got some value out of this and I will link that full playlist here so you can binge that on your own leisure. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.